Good morning, Gospel Life Church family members. How are you this morning? Everything's well with us in Zelianople, and I hope the same is for you. I'd like to read for you today from Psalm 22. But before I do, I'd like to also read something uh, that was written by our pastor in regard to this particular psalm. He says, Surely one of the passages that Jesus would have reminded the disciples on the road to Emmaus, he would have reminded them of Psalm 22. The psalm opens with the words that we find on the lips of Jesus at that point of death, of his death. And he references verse 1 with Matthew 27, verse 46. As one reads through Psalm 22, one cannot help but think of the death of Jesus Christ. Clearly, the way that Jesus was crucified modeled the pattern that was described in this psalm. After worshiping him, they returned to Jerusalem with great joy, as recorded in Luke 24, verse 52. Yes, he has risen. The prophets were right. So keep in mind, though this, pro this uh, psalm was written by David, it definitely has messianic overtones. Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry day, excuse me. Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm, not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust. You made me trust you at my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near. There is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones, they stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far off. O oh, you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him, all ye offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from him, but he has heard when he cried to him. From you my praise in the great from you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before all those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat 
and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word, and may we also remember his great sacrifice that was made for us, and we commemorate that day today. Peace be with you. Amen.